Hi guys, I'm Jack. I'm here with Garrett at Power Pack and we're going to be breaking down some fall protection today. So, Garrett, it looks like we have a 6-foot lanyard and an 11-foot SRD. So, can you explain the difference between the two of them? Absolutely, Jack. So, these two are going to perform more or less the same function. The main difference being the lanyard's a bit of older technology, but it's also a little more economical, a little more cost effective. The SRD is going to be provide more safety for the workers and it's also going to be more compact, as you can see. Okay, so you mentioned they're a little more safer, how so? Yeah, so the main difference there, uh, as far as safety goes, is that the SRD is going to have a much um, much shorter uh, fall distance for your workers. Meanwhile, the lanyard there, six feet, it's gonna have a greater amount of clearance that's necessary before it's gonna stop your worker from falling. So how much of a difference is the fall distance between these two? Now, so that's something that you need to calculate. Let's start with the lanyard. So this here is a six foot lanyard. You need to add that to the height of your worker. So let's say he's a six, uh, let's say your worker's six feet, just for easy math's sake. So you add those two numbers together. He also, this product is gonna have three and a half feet of deceleration that's necessary. And you always wanna add an extra three feet just for safety precautions. So in total, that's gonna give you 18 and a half feet of clearance that you need for this product. The SRD, this one here is a class B, is gonna be a little different. It's gonna stop your worker within four and a half feet and only needs one foot for deceleration. And then, of course, the additional three feet just for safety reasons. Right. That's gonna give you a total of eight and a half feet, which is less than half the distance of a clearance you need uh, than you would if you were using the lanyard. And that's for the class B. The class A is even better, only requires six feet. Okay, so earlier you mentioned adding length for deceleration distance. So could you explain that a little more? Absolutely. So deceleration distance is going to vary depending on which product you're using. The reason that each product is going to have some level of deceleration distance is that you don't want your workers to come to a complete stop. It needs to have a little bit of give to make sure that if they were to, because if they were to suddenly stop, it would cause potentially injure the worker. So each product, whether you're using a lanyard or an SRD, is going to have a certain amount of distance that it slows them down before bringing them to a stop. And that's something that needs to be factored in uh, to the level of clearance you need for each worker in order to make sure they remain safe. Great. Well, Garrett, I think that um, you explained that great. Um, I'm sure I have a dozen more questions about this, but appreciate you guys for watching. Stay safe out there.